So a few weeks ago I came across a product called Bee Venom Cream and I thought to myself is this is it really the venom from bees made into a cream for anti-aging and the answer is yes that's exactly what they try to do. So I did a bit of digging and here is uh, what I came up with. Um, so let's find out if this product is the bee's knees or a pile of rubbish. Keep watching. I'm not really sure how long this product has been on the market uh, but surprisingly this product has some proven benefits and the first one is that it stops bacterial growth on the skin so who might benefit from this uh, people with things like acne will really really benefit from this because bacteria plays a big role in acne so those people will likely find this product really really good or people who just generally want to keep their skin uh, free of um, you know too much bacteria but where this product really comes into its own is that it blocks uh, its skin sun damage so every time uh, harmful rays hit the skin a, a damaging process um, kicks off and uh, that leads to skin losing collagen and elasticity and basically looking older and you know wrinkles developing so uh, bee venom has been proven to slow down and stop this process. Um, I don't want to go too much into the science but it stops uh, uh, an enzyme called MMP which is the enzyme that really kicks off this damaging cycle of um, uh, skin deterioration um, and if you can block that enzyme then you prevent that process. So that's another excellent benefit of bee venom. And thirdly this product has been shown to improve the level of collagen. So collagen is um, the basic building structure of the skin. It's really really essential Without collagen your skin is going to probably look thin and old and wrinkly so you do need collagen and anything that improves the level of collagen is good news. And the final thing I really loved about this product is that it came through the photo analysis experiments. So there's two ways to assess if an anti-aging cream is good. Usually there's two ways. One is to give it to a bunch of people, take it home, use it and compare their skin before and after. It's really it's really subjective in my opinion it's just not good enough uh, because people's impressions are different one person might think oh wow you know my skin looks great and the other person might say you know what's this what's this rubbish so I don't really like that way I prefer I prefer the photo analysis way so the photo analysis way is basically when you take um, a cross section of the skin and you put it under special lights and a special, a special imaging uh, software and you actually see the sun damage on the skin and if the skin is actually improved or not. And this product, the Bee Venom Cream, has come through the photo analysis um, that I have seen with flying colors. So there was definitely improvement in the skin uh, as judged by the photo analysis. However, it's not all good news. There's uh, there's a couple of issues. Because it's bee venom, there's, uh, there's always a risk, although a small risk of um, allergic reaction, possibly severe anaphylactic reaction. So as with all products, test it. Test a small amount of the product on the back of your hand and wait 20 to, 20 to 25 minutes. If there's no reaction, then go for it. If there's a reaction, then scream and run to the hospital. The other potential problems for some people might be the animal cruelty side. So some brands, not all brands, some brands extract the venom in, in, a, in a way that isn't necessarily animal friendly. So read the label carefully, make sure you understand how that venom was extracted. If they don't say on the packaging, go on their website and find out uh, and just make sure that you're happy um, that the venom was extracted in a non animal cool way so that's the end of the video next video is about one of the major uh, brands of bee venom cream a brand called benigma uh, i've looked into it i've looked into the customer feedback of that brand and uh, i've analyzed it so i've got the findings in that video make sure you tune in keep watching see you on the next video subscribe comment i'll get back to you as soon as i can take care